whoa, oh, whoa. Hello. My name is Pog, and this is Dog. I'm Susanna Quince, and that is my father, Peter. Uh, he appears to be in some distress. Dad was supposed to be putting on a play for the King and Queen, but none of his friends have turned up. Where is my snug? Where is my snout? Where is my bottom? <laughs> bottom. <clears throat> Those are the names of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we could help you. Ah, would you like to be in my play? I'll just watch if you don't mind. I'm not a very good actor. And I have snacks. Pog can direct us instead. Then you shall play Pyramus. Ooh, and who is Pyramus? A hero or a villain? I'm quite good at sounding angry. <laughs> Pyramus is a sweet man. Oh, wowza! Then you should do it all sweetly, but manly too. Like this. Ah, I am a hero and do hero things. But also I am sweet. Oh, look, a kitten. There is also a princess called Thisbe. Who will be played by Susanna. Oh, no, no. Girls are not allowed to perform in plays. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. Tell me about it. So I will play Thisbe instead. Oh, wowza! Then you should do it in a very small voice like this. Hello, I am a lovely girl and not a man, even though I have a hairy chin. Oh, look! A kitten! Uh, who else is in the play? Um... Oh, uh, there is a lion. Bow wowza! Then you should do it very loud and very quiet at the same time, so it won't scare anyone. How curious! There's not a book or a pamphlet, a volume or a tome I have not read. Bow wowza! Then it's time to read the very first book you ever read again. Again, Pug? Here it is. It's falling apart. You must have loved it once. I was a pup. Now I'm grown up. And I'm more grown down. Please read it to me. Um, this is a picture book about an amazing creature who lived on an incredible island. And it is called... Where the Wumpus Went. Once there was an island so far away from anywhere, it was almost next door. I remember this place. It's very jungly. Oh, what was that? The Wumpus Pug. What, what's a Wumpus Dog? That's what people come here to find out. Let's read on. Dog, I thought I saw a something. Not yet, Pug. This isn't the right time in the story. How curious. But it is when we meet her. How curious. She can't say that, Dog. You say that. She may have said it first. Uh, <coughs> hello. I am Dog, and this is Pug. We seek the Wumpus. I wonder why. To find out what the Wumpus is. I wonder why. Was she like this the last time you read her? It's like I've never been away. I have always wondered what the Wumpus was, ever since I sneaked a peek of it in the jungle. All I saw was feet. Two big feet. I think it is a giant. The giants lie little pugs. I'm curious to find out. This is a book by... My Granny! Granny Pug! And it is called... Granny Pug's Guide to Ancient Egypt. Welcome, fellow explorers. We're about to go on a journey back in time. 5,000 years before you were born. And the whole world was a beach. This isn't a beach, Pug. Oh, and the old world was a sandpit. When this part of the world was a desert. And still is today. Look, Dog, a pyramid. Ooh. I think I see where I went wrong. Wow, Bowser. Oh. Granny Pug. It sounds like she's in trouble. We're coming, Granny Pug. <laughs> Pug. Hello, dog. Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Pug. Pug. Why the wow Bowser? Oh, it appears I'm being chased through the pages of my own book. Chased by what? Chased by her. Isn't it tradition?
traditional for dogs to do the chasing. Feel free to give it a go. a map of this pyramid in your book, Granny Pug? That's what I came back to draw, so more people could visit. Yeah. Ooh. Quick, boys, slide down. <laughs> Watch more on BBC iPlayer.